What's going on guys, Kaigu here, and I've seen a lot of questions about where to use your crystals in the game, and I made a video in the past talking about this, but they've added a lot of things to the game since then, so I'd like to do an update, so let's get into it. Alright, so I'm going to be talking about three tiers of players. I'm going to be talking about your AFK Andes. These are the guys that come in, uh, check their screen, poke all the red dots, and get out of there. I'm then going to be talking about your competitive free-to-play players, the ones who are doing all the uh, bafflements, they're showing up to all the guild raids, they're showing up and doing everything as they should, and then I'm going to be talking about spenders, where they should be looking to put their crystals. So first, how do we get crystals? So Battlefield, if we see here, uh, rewards, top 20 get more so we're going to look at 21 down which is 300 a week then we have challenge arena which if we take a look uh we we're not going to look at the way big guys up there we're going to baseline look at gold three when we talk about these uh ca the casual players so that's 1000 a week and then the season payout of 500 so we're looking at uh, I just went over that 4,500 then when we go over to brawl arena we will have the same numbers 1,000 per week for gold 3 season reward 500 another 4,500 then when we log in every day in the shop if we come down to play daily free gift 20 right there and that brings us to 3440 for the week and the other place you can get it there's two other places one is in trial of ascension so even if you've already done a stage you can do a random stage over again and it has a chance to have a secondary thing so right above my head when you go into the stage uh, I'll show you right here I'll just go in with whatever and if we take a look right there it'll say wave one out of two time left and then secondary condition apply harmful effect uh, that is not it'll change whatever the secondary condition is but uh, this is a reward that you can get the mission clear reward which will be on the right can be gold uh, enhancement shards or crystals so it's an interesting way to get some crystals out of nowhere now that we're able to uh, do the tower on sweep just hit uh, continuous hit continuous so if I go here enter and then right here climb consecutively what you can do if you're trying to get a few extra crystals is do one or two sweeps uh, you know hit go go to the bathroom come back and it'll do 10 15 floors and you'll uh, get one or two things of crystals it'll be anywhere I've seen 5 to uh, 21 at a time uh, the other way that you can get crystal the last place to get crystals is right here weekly for guild rank and this isn't for the player this is for the guild so number one guild everyone in the guild gets that each guild can have a massive number of players so i would like to take uh i would like to talk about top 10 but i know global is still tons of people so to make this easier uh, for now, I'll do top 50 guild. So that's 600 a week. So now we have 4,000 uh, crystals a week. You can get more if you do the tower trick I told you about or the exchange center. Uh, I will be using, if we come over here, Curio refresh here once a day. That's 700 a week. Then Path of Growth do two daily here that'll be 1500 uh sorry 1050 then over here quests repeat quests doing one a day here which will be another 1050 which puts us at 2800 of our 4000 leaving us with 1200 left 
And what I would like to do here is battlefield do one one to three re, uh, refreshes a week. Uh, during Sky Waterfall, it's just gold, but it's a large amount of gold. During Moonshadow Forest, it's gold and sky stones, leaning more towards the sky stones. So up to you how you want to use those entries, or how much you like this type of gameplay. But if you do one run a week, one additional run will be 100 crystals. I suggest doing the full three, which will be 600 crystals. So when we do that, that leaves us with 600 left for the week. I suggest banking those and then saving those for events in the future. Now, let's talk about the mid-tier player I wanted to talk about, which they're still free to play, but they're able to score a bit higher on these things. So we're still doing 21 down on Battlefield, which will be 300 a week right there. If we come over here, to arena remember both of these numbers will be the same if we take a look over here i think what is reasonable is the top 500 so if we take a look right there that's master one that'll be 1200 a week with uh 600 payout this is times two because you're getting it from challenge arena and brawl arena then over in here in guild i'll go top 10 4 to 10 so you're getting another 700 a week right there. And I didn't mention this in the other one because I said it was geared towards the casual player that's just coming in, click, 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 and they're done. But if you are a high tier free to play player and you're pushing things, you can push members reward, which if you're in the top three of uh, guild, uh, guild rain rankings, uh, damage dealt for the guild boss, uh, we will do the number three right here. That's an additional 80 for the week, which actually helps us make it a nice round number. Now we have 4,800 for the week. Now with our 4,800, we're going to come to Curio. We're going to do one refresh a day for 100. That'll be 700 for the week. Then we'll go to Path of Growth. This is where the main change is going to be right here. I'm going to suggest uh, one, two and then a third recharge a day. So that's 350 times seven, 2,450 plus the 700 that we used just a second ago. That's gonna help you with your runes, especially with the Cantana and things like that. Then we're gonna come over to uh, Battlefield the only other change will be here at Battlefield, where I only recommend doing two extra refreshes a week instead of three. And that is so you still have a little bit of crystal income uh, going into events. Uh, this will put us at uh, 400 crystals saved going in uh, a week to hold in the bank going into events. Now let's talk about that tier of player that's able to spend money and just wants to know where to use them. So for that same player, I already kind of told you where you're getting these crystals from. But if you have uh, money and you want to spend a little bit extra and you want to know what's a good spot to spend my crystals at, let's talk about you. Uh, so while we're here, Battlefield, doing the three week, really good, solid way to use it. Uh, one of my favorites is Brawl Arena, doing one uh, recharge a day. That is 100 crystals a day, meaning 700 a week. And that, the Brawl Shop's really good. Brawl's a good game mode. Challenge Arena, not so much. It's kind of weird to do uh, 10 weekly charges, but it only gives you five. It's not worth it. Uh, doing all the Path of Growths per day is a great way uh, to get the runes and such. That will be 550 crystals a day. Uh, if we come up here to Curios, if you are building up a bunch of characters, doing the three refreshes a day is good. Expeditions, you, uh, you used to be able to recharge special expeditions, uh, but now you can only do the regular ones. This is a great one right here. 900 a day and the last two would be raid 
uh, whatever the newest raid is. Uh, so right now we have uh, Waterfall, the next tier, Kalia, when she comes out for Twisted Marsh, uh, doing that weekly refresh. Uh, it's kind of expensive, but I wouldn't do it for Kalia. Uh, you already know that Farnakil, uh Tree of Heroes is coming in about two months, I believe it was. Uh, wait till that one comes out, then it'll be... If we take a look right here, let's just use Foggy for an example. Uh, 2,250 for three refreshes uh, a week. That is a big spenders one, uh, so that's up to you. But when uh, Tree of Heroes comes out, that's when we get uh, six star three awaken equipment. And that's going to be a big way to, the big um, bottleneck for that is the crafting pieces that you can only get from that raid so being able to do them more times will help you uh, with your progression last spot which uh, on this account right here i can't show you seal this is my eu account uh, seal uh, doing the two refreshes a week to get more crafting material to get more coins things like that and that all comes out too the last spot is repeat quests, doing all three re, uh, repeat quests a day. Very, very huge. Let you get a bunch of resources for offense in the future. So not counting the raid refresh, which won't happen until Fernakil comes through. Uh, that's 2,000 crystals a day and an extra 2,100 a week for everything you need to do to be competitive in this game from a recharging perspective. You can go, uh, you know, do two instead of max three, but to get everything, these are the numbers. I hope this helped you all out to let you know where you land on this list. And I really hope this uh, broke down where to get crystals, what are the most important ways to use them. Until next time, guys.